Arch Enemies Arts in Old City focuses its shows on lowbrow art, a scene that co-founder and curator Lauren Alice says doesn't receive enough attention in the city. Anytime that we would want to see this kind of genre of artwork, to travel to New York to see that was kind of a shame. Why didn't we have something here? It wouldn't make sense for us to move elsewhere when Philadelphia needed to be exposed to that. One of the main goals of Arch Enemy Arts is to make art accessible to anyone walking by the gallery. As Nancy Walsh from the Municipal Art Gallery of Los Angeles says in her article, Making the Visual Arts Accessible, Whose Responsibility Is It? We must realize that some of our visitors bring with them notions about art museums that act as barriers to enjoyment and appreciation of the works of art themselves. In an attempt to be more inviting, Arch Enemy Arts created an entrance resembling a storefront with merchandise and music playing. The boutique was an afterthought. We noticed a lot of people were really afraid to come into a white-walled gallery. So the co-founders started selling handcraft jewelry from local artists, along with clothing and prints, in an effort to draw in people who may not feel comfortable in an art setting. And along with these efforts to appeal to passers-by, Patrick Schilling, co-founder and director of Arch Enemy Arts, said the gallery tries to make its art accessible beyond Philadelphia. We knew from the beginning that it was going to be really important for us to be able to advertise our shows outside of Philadelphia and that it was going to be important to make those shows accessible online. Both co-founders believe their focus on lowbrow art, which is easy for viewers to understand and appreciate, has contributed to their success. This genre of art is not necessarily simple to create, though. This art is illustrative. We like to look at the artwork and know that people other than ourselves can look at it and realize an obvious talent. Alice believes current showcased artist Kelly McCurran is an example of an artist who conveys her craftsmanship through her pieces. Kelly McCurran works in watercolors, and she's one of the only watercolor artists that I know of right now that's made a success as an illustrator that does not use masking fluid whatsoever. It's talent that needed to create that. She's just not any watercolor artist. The current main room exhibition at Arch Enemy Arts is Here Together, So Alone by Marie Texture. The co-founders believe Texture's hyper-realist work is easy to decipher and is easy to connect with. There's one really big painting of two people veiled in plastic who are kissing. There's something in the expressions on that that I like. In addition to his work at the gallery, Schillen also recently provided consulting for Red Bull Art of Cannes, which brought art to the streets of Philadelphia at City Hall in Dilworth Park from October 1st through the 8th. Art of Can installation that's at City Hall in Dilworth Park that we've been involved in for about 10 months. We were involved in lots of consulting with Red Bull early on. Since then, the co-founders have been working on plans for an upcoming group show and continuing to maintain their dedication to making arts accessible. This is Delilah Burns reporting from Arch Enemy Arts for AV News Gathering, Group 2, Section 2.